njroot22.com here with another cheap wine reviews vlog. This is no nonsense, non BS related wine. Our main objective is to see how we feel after two bottles. That's our line in the sand. I'll remind you, everybody has a line in the sand. If you're a 92 pound woman, you might only be one bottle. I'm 200 pounds, I'm two bottles. So that is uh, it. But we normally do red wines and we have, um, we usually like the Spanish wines. We like higher percentage wines and we also like to spend no more than $10 a bottle in general and you know $5 is our, between $5 and $10. I mean, they have $3 wines out there. I'm not sure I'm ready to try them. However, today we're, we're looking at a, something called a Saddlebred Cellars Pinot Noir. I, I'm gonna try and zoom in. I'm using a fixed lens. It probably might work. You never know. I'll hold it up there for a few seconds. You never know if it'll work. But this is called Saddlebred Cellars. If it doesn't work, oh well. It's a Pinot Noir and I don't really, it comes out of this company called Intertrade USA company. Uh, they, they're an importer of uh, and distributors of fine wines and spirits. And this Saddlebred Cellars, if you really need to hear this crap, because I really think the, the vernacular and the whole mindset of the wine industry is kind of just unnecessary. It's alcohol. It affects your body, impairs your motor functions, Makes you feel good most of the time, unless you're one of those angry people. Um, who knows why people drink wine? I mean, like we, we could probably. Get, hey, side note here: I was going to go 11 days in a row without having any any wine at all. Um, this would have been my sixth night in a row, but I did five nights prior here without drinking, because you know, give my liver a break. And I was going to do 11 days before my annual birthday celebration, but I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. Uh, my record for 2018 is six days in a row without having a sip of wine. I broke it, I don't, I really don't care. No, I don't owe anything to anybody. So anyway, this Saddlebred, and by the way, this is only a 12% alcohol. I think they're 2014, this is a 2015 vintage by the way. The 2014 was 12 and a half, but we're talking low end, uh, low end alcohol. And I've always had this theory that the lower the alcohol, the worse I'm gonna feel the next day because of the whatever else is in there, the whatever 88% of whatever, <laughs> mostly water, but you never know what they throw in there. So I'm gonna read this stupid, you know, the, the prepared statement. It's almost like a, it's like a press release from a freaking politician. It's like, who, it's your own, like, experience that, that, that you should write these things. Whatever, I'm going on and on. Carefully selected grapes. Carefully, well how care, there's probably tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands or millions of grapes that go into all these productions. How can they carefully select them? What are they, look at them one by one? No. Or is it just a, the breed of grape? Whatever, they're harvested by hand. Like how many uh, like uh, undocumented workers are picking these grapes? Anyway, this is Italy, so they're probably not undocumented. At the peak of ripeness, well, I don't think anybody ever would put a, like a like a, a green grape. Well, oh, that's white uh, wine. Peak of ripeness and then carefully fermented and co at controlled con temperature, uh, temperatures to preserve the freshness of the fruit aromatics and flavors with maximum intensity of color. I think they just defined winemaking. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing special about that. Do you think someone like at a different uh, winery, you know, like recklessly ferments it at like wildly uh, in like changing temperatures to, you know, take a crapshoot at the freshness no, every winemaker carefully ferments their wine at controlled temperatures. This, this is what bugs me about this, and like nobody challenges this stuff. Anyway, a little side note here, super side note. This wine, this Saddlebred Cellars Pinot Noir, apparently is the only wine this, uh, this cellar makes. 
seller is seller. And it goes for between nine and $11 if you search online, whatever. Whatever Google tells you are the first uh, page or two of results. Some guy in, in, in the Hunterdon County area loves this stuff so much, which is great. Everybody loves what they like, or likes what they love, or loves what they love, or likes what they like. He bought like 10 or 20 cases of this stuff, and, and ShopRite Liquors you know, brought it in. They have this for $5.99 uh, currently. I think they're down to their last case, but uh, it's an extraordinarily good value wine for us for a $7.50. It comes out to a $12. $11.99 for a double bottle, which is you know right there in, in the zone. I like to pay like $10, $10. Like the Rex Goliath back in the day was a really good wine, but they ruined it. Um, but he, they say the aroma of this wine is aroma. I mean, what if you have no sense of smell? Ripe cherry and vibrant raspberry with hints of pomegranate. You know, I, you know, I'm gonna pour some right now. Let's just pour a little bit in this glass and I'm not going to shake it, I'm not, I don't care what legs it has or lingering. You know what, I have to say, it doesn't have some of the other cheaper wine kind of like taint to it. I'm going to, I'm going to sip it. Oh, it's a really good tasting wine. And the whole thing is Pinot Noir, Cabernet, Monastrell, um, Malbec, Tempranillo. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's a wine. It tastes, this actually, the, the flavor of this wine, and I think this is so irrelevant because after a glass or two, I'm only on like glass one and a half here. You don't care. You, you could start out with a Pinot Noir, you can do a Malbec, you can do a Cabernet. You're not going to give a crap after two or three bottles and once you're, I mean, two or three glasses into your second bottle. But they say the taste, this is, they list this production notes, taste. Won't everybody taste something different? Smook and, smook, smooth and silky on the palate. That I will agree with. I see I will, I'm not going to like contradict it for no reason. Smooth and silky is accurate. This Pinot Noir exhibits extraordinary balance. What does balance mean? Yeah, I can hold the glass pretty good. It's balanced. And a long layered finish. Wow. All right. I mean, like how fast it disappears. I, I don't, this type of stuff, I guess the thickness of it and how long, I mean, these molecules in here go on your tongue and everybody's tongues are different. I do like it though. It's a very good, uh, very good tasting wine. I'll tell you this much though. Most of the time when I drink, I water my wine down two to three to one with water and ice and I drink out of a straw. This wine, if you drink like I do, does not have the same kind of tasting power or whatever you want to call it that some of the other wines I've reviewed previously have. It's very watered down, so I don't think I can water this down three to one, two to one max, um, in order to have any kind of a taste experience. Otherwise, it's just a, an alcoholic diluted liquid that makes me feel good after, in a couple hours or over the course of a couple hours. It is a very good, I mean, I would, if I ever went to dinner out and, I, and it was a BYOB, I would bring this with me because it's not too heavy, it's not too complicated, and I think it would be a really good uh, wine with, with uh, a meal. <laughs> or not, or in the back seat of your car, or on the side of the road, or in your yard, or in the garage like I am right now. It's a fine wine. So I looked up, so I printed some other stupid sheets out here from uh, some winesearcher.com. They have, they have like analytics about wine, like the price over the last five years, and they have charts and all this crap. And apparently, here's some notes for this wine. Uh, and, and I don't even know why I'm doing this, because it, it should really be about, does it taste good? And how do I feel the next day? And it should be like a two minute video. 
but I, I, I'm trying to entertain myself here. Anyway, but it's between nine and eleven dollars. But it says this is one of the most popular Italian wines. Out of how many? I mean, they, they I don't know. There's a thousand uh, Italian wines. If this is in the top five hundred, it's it's the most one of the most popular wines. See, this is what I hate about generalizations. More people have been searching for this now than last year this time. I saw the chart, and the chart was going down, 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 and then it went up at the last year. It's like like a like a rabbit, dead rabbit bounce. Um, whatever. And it's also the le one of the least expensive Italian wines. I've seen cheaper, but whatever. But they said the price has been stable for the last year, and that's that. And uh, it's it's. Italian wine, of course. Saddlebred Cellars. So that's it. That's that's all I really have to say at the moment. I think for $5.99 a bottle, based on, like most people are not like me, you will not water it down and drink like uh, like efficiently, like, a, like some sort of German engineer. See, I'm getting hydrated. I don't have to work. I've combined two steps. Most people say, oh, drink a glass of water in between every drink or every other drink and make sure you hydrate a lot before you go to bed and drink a lot of water before you start drinking. I accomplish all that in one damn step. I mix it, drink it, and I don't have to worry about like the sequence of events. But I still, you still have to drink extra water on top of this, this mixture. But I do, you should really try this. I mean, if, even if you're not a Pinot Noir type of person. Remember that video, uh, the post I put up about don't be the wine snob where people stick their freaking nostril hairs into, into, the, into the drink. I mean, can you invent more things to, to, to like overly and maybe fictitiously concern yourself with when it comes to, to just a liquid? It's a liquid. Well, I'll tell you, I like the way it tastes. Mm. I'm gonna recommend this for my significant other, for her to drink, because I think she'll she'll really, really, really like it. A lot more than uh, than um, some of the other wines she likes to drink. It's it's a definite smooth, smooth operator. Um, I don't know, am I wearing the, wearing the right polo shirt? I mean, what is this? Tank, tank tie dye. So, that's it, I've been going on 12 minutes here. I'm gonna try and edit it, I never do. I may come back for a, a brief note when I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna last because I, I've been like dry for the last five and a half days. The last time I drank was Sunday. This is a f Saturday. Sunday, yeah, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I took five nights off, so I drank Saturday. It's yeah, like a whole six days almost. It's after. It's like close to midnight now on a Saturday night. I don't know. Do you guys feel like there's there's really a difference? I mean, this Pinot Noir doesn't taste really any different then the Cabernets can taste different within the Cabernet grape, and the Monastrels can taste different within the Monastrel category. This could be a Cabernet, or could be a Garnache, Garn, Garnache, I don't know. That's it. I will come back with a, a follow-up. And I'm, I'm not doing, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not doing the uh, day after videos anymore because I, I forget most of the time and I, I, I don't want to go back and, and uh, fake it and say hey, it's all good it's well I put a little graphic up at the end of the at the end of the uh, video I did that with one of my last videos in the episode 11 I said hey you know this uh, Shania is good but don't you dare go over your limit because you will it, it, it's like a steep cliff I'm doing good I'm doing good I'm doing good some wines have that that very fine line where you can have one, two, three, four, five, six glasses, seventh glass. I guess everybody's different, and maybe I'm even different. Like if I'm if my liver is feeling uh, strong, 
maybe I can go an extra glass, but if you, you're all beat up and you, and you had a bad week, maybe you, you can't handle more. I don't know, maybe the reverse is true. Maybe it's like your liver's like a muscle, you gotta exercise it. Maybe the more you drink, the more you can handle it. I don't know. I'm almost done, I'm halfway done. I'm gonna to top this thing off and finish some, with some water. I might leave my SO with some, uh, some of this to taste if she comes down from the bedroom. But that's it for now. I will be back. Anyway, I, I just wanna, I'll conclude that this Pinot Noir, this saddle bread, Cellars, I like it. I will buy it as long as it's $5.99 a bottle at uh, ShopRite Liquors. It, it's a very great tasting wine. Um, I'm not gonna explain why, because every freaking time it's some sort of completely random array of words. Oh, I was plum, it was this, it was, it was finished. It. God, shut up, it was good tasting, okay? And I will, I, I will reiterate that it had a very smooth and silky finish on the palate when you drink it out of a wine glass, okay? And it was, it was just perfect. It was, it's like, you know, it's, it's almost like, I might have to just reserve it for a summer drink. It's so good, ice cold. It's like 38 degrees here right now in, in October. We're gonna give a thumbs up for this. But this, thanks to Curtis at, uh, at uh, ShopRite Liquors, he recommended this to me, and it's, uh, like I said, $5.99 ShopRite Liquors in Clinton, New Jersey, anywhere from $9 to $11 online, so you're getting a really good deal. I'm gonna buy the last case if no one does. Um, I like it enough, and I'm not a Pinot Noir guy. So have a nice night, and enjoy the rest of your week. Have a good night. I'm turning everything off. Take care.